Hi everyone, welcome to the Sip and Spin. I am the Tipsy Spinster and in my glass is one of my favorite outside summer sipping beverages. This is mermaid water. When we come back, I'll share what's in it. Water is one of my favorite summer sipping beverages because it can ma be made in a multitude of different ways with as much or as little or no alcohol if you want. Basically the way that I make it is I use Rum Haven Rum which is infused with actual coconut water which is really a light flavorful rum. I use blue curacao syrup and then I top it with pineapple soda water. So there's really very, very little alcohol in here at all. It has this wonderful blue color and it's perfectly sippable. So on today's show, we are still looking at from fleece to fabric. And on today's show, I'm going to talk about the process of spinning. So there are two ways to prepare our wool. We can either use the process of carding either with hand cards or with a drum carder, and I used a drum carder for this, and that's going to give us a woolen prep. And a woolen prep is something that's going to create a light, airy yarn. Using combs is going to create a worsted prep, and I have some of that over here as well. So even though I've prepared these two fibers two different ways, this is woolen prep, this is worsted prep, when it comes to spinning, I've got some additional choices. So because I want to be using Venice as the warp in one of my projects, I want to spin some of this worsted and even though I've created a woolen bat I'm still gonna spin it worsted and so basically what that means is this is kind of a breakdown I'm all about flow charts right now so if you have a woolen prep and you want a woolen spin you're going to do what is called long draw. So I'm going to demonstrate that first because that's what I have going on here. The wheel that I'm using is my Kromsky Sonata and one of the reasons why I like this wheel is it folds down, it comes in its own carrying case and it is fully portable, which is really, really nice when you're spinning outside. So in order to spin a woolen yarn, with woolen prep, we're going to do what's called long draw. And long draw is basically, and I, I kind of blew it right there, because long draw is keeping your hands off the fiber. What I'm doing is I'm pulling back and I'm letting air into the fiber as I go. And then I will let it onto the wheel. So again, long draw, I'm pulling back. I've got some nips here that I'm gonna pull out. But I'm creating as much air as possible in this yarn. And so what I end up with with this, when I apply it, wow, you can really see. That is, you cannot get much more light, airy, and fluffy than that. That is woolen yarn. Now, a woolen prep, worsted yarn, I'm going to be doing either a short forward or a short backward draw. And with that, I'm using my hands to smooth and essentially get rid of some of the air in that fiber. So this is a woolen prep with a worsted spin. And I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see the difference. So short forward draw. Now when I apply it, woolen prep, that is a worsted spin. And boy, can you see the difference. This is going to hold up much better in a weaving scenario. 
And so just a quick recap, woolen prep, which is carded, woolen spin is long draw. Woolen prep worsted spin is either a short forward or a short backward draw. And so that's what I've been predominantly doing on this one is I'm doing a short forward draw. And I'll do that across the bat for all of this. Now, the next one to look at, just tuck that in right there, is a worsted prep. Worsted prep is using combs. So this is a worsted prep, and I'm using my little Nautilus, my electric eel nano, to help demonstrate this. So this is worsted prep with a worsted spin, which means I'm going to do a short forward draw. Let's take a look what that looks like. So worsted prep, worsted spin. And now worsted prep woolen spin, which means I'm going to be doing a long draw. There we go. That's a little off, but there. You can definitely see the difference in how that is prepared. So this is where, and one of the main reasons why I wanted to show this is because it's pretty important. One of the things that I've noticed in my own spinning is that oftentimes I'll switch back and forth. I'll be in the middle and suddenly I'll be doing long draw and then I'll be doing short forward or short backward and then I'll do long draw. And what happens then is you're going to find that you're probably going to have inconsistencies with your yarn. So this is where you really need to decide when you get to that spinning point. Well, okay, depending upon how I prepared the fiber, what is my end purpose? What do I want to use this for? And what do I want my yarns to look like? Do I want them to be airy and light and fluffy? If that's the case, then you want to do a woolen prep and a woolen spin. If you want a firmer, uh, tighter, uh, probably a little bit more a tougher yarn, a stronger yarn, then you're probably going to want to do a worsted prep and a worsted spin. If you want something kind of in the middle, you want a little bit of air, but you want it sort of strong, then you can go with a woolen prep and a worsted spin or a worsted prep and a woolen spin. I know, all of those terms. If you want a little bit more information on that, Ply Magazine did an entire issue on woolen and worsted prep, and it's a great issue. I would encourage you to check it out. So this was a quick one, but I'm pretty much just spinning the fiber that I've processed. As always, thanks so much for checking in. As always, happy spinning.